John Marsden was born in Melbourne, Australia on September 27, 1950. His father was a banker, so every four years their family got moved. At age 10, his family moved to Sydney, where he was enrolled in the King's School Parramatta. The school was known for its extreme military style of teaching. Marsden later enrolled in the University of Sydney for a law arts degree. During this time, he worked in a mortuary and as a security guard until he obtained his job as an English teacher. As a teacher, Marsden started out working for four years in Bathurst, New South Wales. From then on, his teaching career flourished. He taught for 10 years at Geelong Grammar in Victoria. From there, he went on to teach at Timbertop, which is where Prince Charles went to school, and became head of the English department. Marsden's success in his teaching career is due partly to the fact that he felt the classroom should not be a place of four walls, it should be out in the great world. When working at Timbertop, he also decided that he wanted to begin writing for teens. The first book Marsden wrote was called So Much to Tell You. So Much to Tell You is about a 14-year-old named Marina who recently transferred from a mental hospital to a boarding school. Marina is mute as a reaction to a trauma brought on by her father. Her father threw acid through the car window, aiming for her mother, but it hit Marina, burning her face instead. Marina records her daily life in a journal as an assignment from her English teacher, although her English teacher promises not to read it, only to check and see if she is actually writing in it. The other girls in the dorm are kind to Marina, although only a girl named Kathy repeatedly does actions that begin their friendship. Marina continues to be mute, even in sessions with the school counselor, but she does begin to heal as she opens up more and more in her journal. Marina has been debating throughout the story whether or not she hates her father for what he did. She finally gets up the courage to visit him since he has been imprisoned and speaks for the first time since the incident. Another book by John Marsden is Letters from the Inside. The book is written in the form of letters being passed between two 15-year-old girls. Tracy is a troubled teen writing from prison, and Mandy is scared to death of her older brother. Mandy puts an ad in the newspaper looking for a pen pal, and Tracy responds. Both of the girls' letters at first talk simply about their daily life. Tracy makes her life seem perfect with a boyfriend, pets, and a loving family. On the other hand, Mandy's letters reveal her violent brother who she fears greatly. Mandy finds out that Tracy does not go to the school she says she does, which leads her to find more inconsistencies within Tracy's letters. This then causes Mandy to beg for the truth, but Tracy is not ready to tell her that she is in prison, stating in one of her letters, you wouldn't understand and you wouldn't want to know, trust me. Tracy stops sending letters despite the fact that Mandy keeps writing to her begging for the truth. Tracy finally writes back admitting that she is in prison and also tells the truth about her family. Tracy never gets a response to that last letter, and it comes back in the mail unread. This makes Tracy believe that Mandy's brother has killed her. John Marsden has written over 40 other books and has sold over 5 million copies throughout the world. All of his books are translated into different languages, such as Polish, Danish, Dutch, Swedish, Norwegian, German, and French. John Marsden has won every award for Australian young adult writing, as well as awards that are usually reserved for books aimed towards adults. This includes the Australian Book Association's Book of the Year and the Lloyd O'Neill Award for Services to the Australian Book Industry. He has also won many overseas awards, including the Buxted Boulet. The Buxted Boulet is given in Germany for the best teenage novel published anywhere in the world in the previous two years. Thank you.